Greetings everyone, this is Ohio Dan. I wanted to make what is most likely going to be the final video in a kind of informal series that I've been doing where I talk about how things change drastically for you as a man when you're no longer part of the game. When you're no longer dating in a conventional sense, when you're no longer trying to pursue a woman, when you're no longer trying to meet society's standards, which are basically the same as women's standards today for the most part, because you realize that the game is basically rigged against you and that modern dating and modern relationships from your average guy's perspective, it's such a scam and there's really very little of value there. Unless you choose to do it on your terms in the way that you think is proper or appropriate for yourself as a guy, dating and relationships and all that kind of stuff is a waste of time. And I'm not going to get into too much detail here about why this makes sense from a guy's point of view other than to say women have control over the home, they can basically use the domestic violence laws to get you kicked out of your own place, they have complete control over reproduction to the extent that they can basically kill an embryo before it's born based on I don't want to have this child versus suing you for child support later and in some cases it turns out that it's not even your kid and they can still sue you for child support but if you ask a woman to make you a sandwich that's considered to be sexist and I don't need to get into too much of a sort of controversial polarized way of putting this it's just there's very little that women do in conventional relationships anymore and all the risk and liability is pretty much on your side as a guy Aside from maybe getting pregnant, but again, as I've just mentioned, the woman can basically decide not to be pregnant anymore. So you just have this sort of realization from men that are able to grasp this information and to look around them and observe things that relationships are pretty much a scam for men today. The woman has no obligation to do anything for you, but you're expected to do everything that men have pretty much always done in relationships plus half of everything else. And then that's called 50-50. That's kind of where we're at as far as I'm concerned from what I can see when it comes to relationships between men and women today. And this final video in this series is not so much about the realization itself, but what happens afterwards. What happens when you realize that living for female validation, trying to attract women, trying to get women to like you, trying to put yourself in a position so that you can be relationship material, so to speak, or look good enough for a woman to be interested in you, any of that, when you realize that that's pretty much just a waste of time, you really have to understand that you're going to change. I think it's important to understand that your perspective is going to change, and you as a person, you as a man, will inevitably change quite a bit over time. I've seen this within myself. And I've heard enough other men within the men's community talk about that to realize that this is a thing that's going to happen. When you move on from female validation, yes, the process of realizing why it is that relationships today are pretty much a scam from a guy's point of view, the process of taking the so-called red pill, that can happen quickly. But then when the dust settles, a lot of additional change occurs over time after you've accepted that female validation is really not worthwhile. Right, when you come to realize that chasing female validation is a next to worthless process for a man to engage in today, it can change your whole perspective about life, and it will. And it will change how you make choices for yourself going forward from that point. Once you are self-aware as a guy, so to speak, and you choose to not really care about women's standards and society standards anymore, it will change how you perceive on that basis. Like untangling a knot, you gradually realize that much of what you valued was based on gaining validation from women, and so it's no longer necessary to engage in that process, and you're now free to pursue other goals. All the time and resources you spent trying to make yourself more attractive to the opposite gender can now be reallocated to more potentially rewarding endeavors. But the flip side to that is that it's very easy to fill all that time and all that energy and all those resources that you are spending on trying to get 
women to like you pretty much, you can also fill those things with a lot of negative shit, with hedonism, with being selfish in a pure sense, not selfish in the sense of caring about yourself, but in the sense of, I don't care about anyone else anymore whatsoever, with a lot of things that are not going to give you any sort of fulfillment in life. And the basic point of this video is to say that it's really important to find what it is that you value in your life as an individual man, because if you don't find positive things to fill that space with that used to be dedicated toward getting women to like you, getting women to sleep with you, getting women to approve of you, and society as well, by extension, getting society to approve of you as a man, proving that you could be attractive or that you could make enough money, that you can be successful. When you let that stuff go because none of that makes sense anymore now that you realize relationships are pretty much a scam these days, you've got to work, I think, on filling that with positive stuff or you can end up allowing your health to basically deteriorate or not spending your time on things that you could possibly find fulfilling and instead spending that time on things that are just nonsense or that are just not worth very much really. Materialistic things would be another example. Buying a bunch of stuff that really you're filling that gap that you used to spend on trying to get attention from women and now you're just buying a bunch of stuff you don't really need because you think you're doing it for yourself. That to me would be not a good thing to do. That would be a negative example of what could happen if you don't find another purpose for your life. So you have the opportunity in recognizing that all this stuff that you did to basically attract women is not really a sensible thing to do, that it has no value to you anymore. You have the opportunity to shift toward other things that can add value to your life becoming a much different person over time in certain respects as a result of that. But you've got to, I think, be mindful and be purposeful about what kind of man you become. You've got to be aware that you can sink into a lot of negative things. You can sink into, again, hedonism, basically having a type of nihilistic view of the world. Some people might call this black pill. I don't really define black pill that way, but that is one thing that's thrown out there as being nihilistic. I don't think those two things are actually the equivalent to one another, but nonetheless, you can fall into despair. You can fall into a lot of things, again, materialism, that are really not positive things for you to focus your life on, if you don't find your purpose in a positive way outside of living for women. And so, again, this sort of shift, this change in your focus, this change in your lifestyle and how you perceive yourself, that's going to happen once you become self-aware about women and how society views you as a man and how just very one-sided things are today between the genders in a way that's not advantageous for you as a guy at all, when you process that information and you start to untangle that knot that you've built your life around, it's very important to build a new, healthy, viable foundation for yourself as a guy instead of sinking into some of these negative things that will lead to negative outcomes, in my opinion. Moving on from female validation is a great opportunity to find true value in life, to find things that are actually going to be positive for you to build your life around once you realize that, you know what, if you try to have a family with a woman, she can just kick you out of that family if you live in a Western country. She can basically cut off the sex. She can take your kids away. She can make false accusations against you. There's really no way to get around this because any woman is capable of doing this. Maybe it doesn't make sense, especially since women don't do the things they used to do in relationships anyway, to even engage in that process. Maybe it's better to just throw that script away and move on to something that's actually healthy. That's a positive step to take. At least for most men, I think it's a positive thing to realize that, yes, relationships today pretty much are a scam. Relationships today are very one-sided in favor of women, and maybe you really don't have a good reason to care what women think about you. 
maybe the role that society places you in really doesn't benefit you in any way as an individual guy, and so there's really very little reason to care what society thinks either. But if you don't fill that with some things that are worthwhile and do have value, then you may end up instead engaging in potentially wasteful or unfulfilling activities that also are not really going to give you any sort of healthy direction in life. Your health can deteriorate, your lifestyle can deteriorate, you may not work very hard anymore because, hey, I don't have women that are going to be attracted to me for me and actually are potential relationship partners because it doesn't matter, right? She can just basically decide to use that relationship against you at any time and the culture is constantly encouraging her to do that. Maybe once you move on from that situation, that's a good thing to do, but you have to find something else to fill that hole with. You have to find something else that's positive and healthy. And it's very hard to give any sort of advice about that because it's going to be different for each individual man. Some men may find a religious or spiritual set of beliefs or outcomes to work toward, things to believe in that are positive along those lines. Some men may find a sense of fulfillment with hobbies or other interests. They may be active physically and have that be the thing that they focus on. Other men will continue to work on their careers and they'll continue to work hard to make money, but they do it for themselves because they have things that are related to that that they want to be able to engage in that are going to require money, but they're not doing it for female validation anymore. It's important to find whatever it is that's going to make you tick in a positive way as a man. And I hate using the word positive all the time because that word has become almost toxic today in terms of everything having to be positive, but you've got to build your foundation around something that's going to be healthy and beneficial. And I just think it's really important to discuss this because if you fail to do that, you're going to change in a way as a guy that's not going to be positive. If you fail to find the things that are important to you in life after you move on from female validation, then it could be that all you move on to is materialism or despair or just a general, I'm going to be hedonistic and just party it up until my time on earth is over. I don't think any of that's very healthy. I don't think those are good things to move toward. And I do think that the men that are discovering that female validation is not a good foundation for life, that relationships today are pretty much dead unless you can do it on your terms, that marriage and having children, that's just something that can be so easily used against you. And there really is no positive role for you to necessarily play in that as a man because you can be kicked out of that situation so easily. Once you start to realize these things and actually start to entangle that knot that was female validation and the role that female validation or seeking that validation played in your life, you're going to have to find some other thing to build your life around. And it's hard, again, to say what that is for each individual man because it's going to depend on who you are as a person, but I do think it's really important that we purposefully and mindfully move toward something that's going to add purpose to our life, because if we don't do that, then we can replace seeking female validation with something that's just about as bad, something that is just about as useless to us in terms of our own long-term health and our own long-term ability to have a good life. And so we need to, I think, purposely find the things as best we can that are going to add positive meaning to our life. And if we search for those things and we can't find them at first, then we need to continue to seek those things out. We need to continue to find what it is that makes us tick, so to speak. But I do think most men can find other things. It's just a matter of not filling that gap left by female validation that are going to be equally useless to us over time.